Hey guys, what is up? It is Lake here, coming at you with another video. Now, today I'm going to be doing a video. Uh, a lot of you guys wanted to see my uh, VM setup on vSphere, so I decided uh, to do this um, video. Um, and this is going to basically be showing how my PFSense works and my virtual networking. Um, if you want to see my actual physical networking, go check out a few videos before here. But there was really no documentation on YouTube about uh, PFSense on ESXi. So I decided to show you basically how it is. Um, I'll show you how to set everything up with the virtual switch. Um, because basically, you know, if you should know how to install PFSense. Um, it's pretty simple to do. As long as you know how to P uh, install PFSense, um, then this tutorial will be pretty simple. Just make sure you have two NICs on your... Uh, hypervisor that's running vSphere or that's running ESXi sorry um, make sure you just have two ethernets and they're both plugged in one straight from your modem or to be used as your WAN and then one goes to your switch with everything all your other servers or your router or whatever you connect to it uh, goes to um, so let's get right into it as you can see I have pfSense right there I also run a web server and a minecraft server um, it's Debian, uh, mine OS variant of Debian. PFSense, obviously, uh, Ubuntu server. This is a domain controller I've been screwing with. Um, but yeah, let's get right into it. Um, let's go to configuration, and we're already on networking. So, as you can see, I have two gigabit NICs uh, hooked up from my gigabit um, switch. Now, basically, you're going to want to make sure both. Uh, NICs are activated like they are here and you're gonna make a new switch um, are you gonna rename your aggress this will be all here okay all this stuff will be here um, except this will be something else just hit uh, properties um, and then you can uh, edit and then label this top one that comes pre-installed when you install ESXi the base vSwitch uh, LAN so as you can see underneath that I have my web server, my Minecraft server and my PFSense now what you want here is you want to add networking virtual machine um, you obviously want to select the NIC that you are not using for your LAN so this would be my LAN NIC and this other second one that you have, whatever one that is for you, you would select that. So I don't know. You hit there and then you just create a switch. It's pretty simple. Um, and then you make sure that PFSense is hooked up to it. Um, I can't take it down because my whole network's running off this right now. But um, it's pretty simple uh, once you network it all together. Um, and what happens is it... PFSense won't automatically be here, okay? It'll just say WAN. Uh, make sure you name it WAN. Um, PFSense will show up up here at first, but then, um, you know, as you can see, but then what will happen is when you set up your PFSense and you assign um, NICs um, at the initial setup page, uh, you'll need to set up your WAN, and that would be, uh, you'd see VM NIC 1 in my case. Uh, you'd select that, and then VM NIC 0 would be your LAN. Um, and if you don't know the difference, I don't know if this tutorial is for you, but I'll just say it. Uh, WAN is, you know, the cable coming straight from your uh, modem uh, or for your ISP. Uh, it's wide area, wide area network. Um, I'm pretty sure. I don't know. Um, I'm not quite sure, but but this is local area network. So yeah, wide area network. Um, I pretty sure that's what it is. I'm kind of tired. If you guys cannot tell by the audio, but I just wanted to kind of show you my virtual uh, switch setup. And then once you obviously set this NIC as your WAN, this is your internet, uh, the connection coming in. Uh, once you set this as your WAN, um, PFSense, uh, when you set VM NIC 1 as your WAN on uh, PFSense, it'll show up here. So basically, traffic is coming from your um, think uh, that your modem's here. Uh, you know, you have your coax from like Time Warner in there, or your uh, Google, your fiber from your modem runs to this NIC. This NIC gives internet access to PFSense, which is the WAN access point on the PFSense VM. Then PFSense gives 
internet from um, or actually internet um, well I, I don't know exactly how to explain it but uh, internet comes from here goes out goes to you. all your virtual machines uh, are will be run off this DNS uh, all that stuff a uh, server and then it will come out through this NIC which is connected to my uh, switch and all that stuff so I just wanted a basic explanation show you what's working for mine um, so you can just basically copy the, this configuration on yours you know obviously you don't need this stuff you just need PFSense LAN WAN um, and there is articles on this but I just wanted to document it in a video um, so yeah thanks for watching guys please rate, comment, subscribe I'll see you in my next video guys peace out